Salt is hurting our dairy farmers perhaps more than anyone. And you'll feel the pain if you buy beef, milk, or dairy products for the next four years. RTV6 reporter Tanya Spencer joins us live outside our studio on Monument Circle to explain why. Tanya. Well, Jenna and Erica, we're all going to feel it at the grocery store and at our favorite restaurants. Not right away, but starting next year. The problem is a low cattle supply that's going to get even lower. And experts say you can expect the price of beef to go up 3 to 4 percent each year through 2016. <laughs> There are lots of cattle in this year's 4 H competition at the Indiana State Fair, but that won't be the case next year. Many farmers have had to sell off their milk cows because they can't afford to feed them. There's simply no hay to be had, and what there is is twice the normal price. Yeah, they're shipping it in from Ohio, Michigan, Pennsylvania, because at one point, two weeks ago, hay was $400 a ton up in our area. And now it's back finally down to under $200. The trouble is that that was to be the winter supply for those cattle. And now the concern is once they feed the hay without pasture, there is no winter supply. We're going to see, especially on beef, which these impacts of this drought really lag out multiple years. Uh, I think we're looking at 2016 before we have a chance of starting to increase the beef supply. The problem is the cattle supply can't be replenished in just a year, like crops can. The gestational period is nine months, so it takes nearly a year to have a baby and two full years after that before it's mature enough to give milk or go to slaughter. Vanessa Chula says she eats her way through the state fair each year and always starts at the beef tent. She says the price hikes fueled by low supply won't keep her from enjoying her favorite food. It won't stop me from eating it. I'll pay whatever it costs. Now, although 3 to 4 percent increase each year may not sound like too much, that economist says since our paychecks are not going up, not following suit, that those price hikes may really slow down the entire economy. Reporting live downtown, Tanya Spencer, RTV6.